So have you ever had an idea? And then thought about it. This is a lot of work and I really don't want to put in the effort to do all this. But I'm already started so I have to finish it. Yeah, me neither. We're talking about exotic swords today anyway. I just watched this YouTube video by a player known as Lux Regalia. He's a very good Crucible player, and I highly suggest you follow him on Twitter. His clips are great. Anyway, this guy loves swords. He especially loves the sword Black Talon, and he did some very extensive testing, and I kind of wanted to jump in on that, but I wanted to try it with a different sword, and I was thinking World Line Zero. He was showing basically what Black Talon can and can't block, and I want to do the same testing with World by Zero to see, you know, what it can do, and if there's any difference, if there's any reason why you should pick that sword over the other, or which one's just better in general. The reason why I'm picking this sword over Black Talon is because it has the perk Infinite Guard. Basically, as long as you're holding the guard button, your energy bar won't deplete at all, so you can hold that thing for as long as you want. The only thing that will deplete is you taking incoming damage, so you don't have to worry about pacing yourself, you can hold it for as long as you need to. Now this one perk is the reason why I chose World Line Zero over Black Talon. The difference in performance between these two is that Black Talon has the perk Heavy Guard, which I believe gives you more damage resistance per damage that you intake from incoming sources. Uh, World Line Zero will allow more damage to you, like in chip damage basically, while Black Talon will allow less. So obviously that's going to make a very big difference in what Black Talon can block and what World Line Zero can block. I'm going to run some footage back to back of, of the same supers damaging each sword and you be the judge. Obviously Black Talon takes more damage to be able to break and be able to actually kill the Guardian, but World Line Zero isn't too far behind. So yeah, as you can see, Black Talon is definitely the bulkier between the two swords. If you want to see what else Black Talon can block, which is a little bit obnoxious, I would definitely suggest watching the rest of Lux Regalia's video. The link is in the description box below. If you want to see what else World Light Zero can block, go ahead and finish watching the rest of this video, but at the end, stick around. I have a bit of a talk about flinching that happens to a lot of supers when they try and swing at a blocking sword, so you might want to stick around for that piece.
All right, one thing I wanna mention when you're blocking supers, never let a super get behind you because you can only block what's happening in front of you. If it drops behind you or they get behind you, you're going to die instantly. So definitely wanna put that out there. Do not let anybody get behind you when they're using a super. Also, since we're on the subject of swords, here's a list of things you can kill with the World Line Zero. Yes, pretty much anything is killable with this sword. The only thing I really had an issue with was Night Stalker. There was one time where it missed, and I think I may have did a little bit of damage, or I may have missed it in general, but I tested it over and over again, and I did end up killing the uh, Middle Tree Night Stalker in one shot. Which honestly, I don't think is too special, because Black Talon could do the same thing, but from a very safe distance. The only thing that World Line Zero has over Black Talon is that it can actually do something about a Titan in its bubble. Alright, the last subject I want to talk about is flinch. When a roaming super uses its melee ability on a blocking sword, basically they, they get deflected back. Once, some supers, it, it, it happens repeatedly, but basically you can use that moment to actually, you know, respond and swing and maybe kill them, but it's not promised because supers are pretty quick and you have to be quick in your reaction time. But you can set it up and get a pretty good bait and maybe stop them from killing you. Roaming super melees that can be deflected are as follows. And well, that's all the clips I got for you today, guys. Hopefully this was informative. If it was, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more content like this, I got plenty more coming out. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching, guys. Peace.